Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this episode we are going to recreate Perplexity UI vertical scroll. We are going to be using React Native Reanimated and Flatlist. I'm gonna show you how to animate the Flatlist using Use Animated Scroll Handler and how you can position each individual item in the center of the screen. So without further ado, let's jump straight into VS Code and start building or recreating this Perplexity scroll animation. Shall we? Alrighty, so we are in VS Code here. I've created the project using Expo and I have React Native reanimated installed. So let's start by showing you a bit about the mock data. So I have prepared here some mock data that we are going to feed into this flat list. So we have a collection of items. Each individual item is going to have a key, a title, an image um, that's going to come from a Flickr, a background, a description and an author name and avatar. And yeah, we are just exporting also the type and the data itself. So now uh, I would like to start by creating the actual component new vertical list.tsx and create this vertical list is going to receive the data. So data is going to be vertical list props and create this type data is going to be item import item from mock data and it's going to be an array, right? Now, if we go back to the app itself, we can render this component vertical list import it and mock data data is going to be mock data great jump back into the vertical list and start rendering the flat list instead of a view here i'm gonna have flat list and data is going to be data render item is going to get the item and it's going to return for now an animated card component and we can also specify the item and let's create this function is going to receive the item as animated card props and we are going to return a view for now and let's create this type with card is going to be item item okay it's safe nothing is going to be rendered inside this animated card but what i would like to do is to apply dummy background the background color is going to be item bg just to make it visible here and since this is going to be a vertical list, I would like to uh, specify the item height. So uh, the, the centered one, I would like to be, let's say 72% of the height screen. And uh, just to create, you know, this type of uh, uh, list or vertical list where I'm also displaying the neighbors, just a tiny bit from the neighbors, right? So let's start by creating some constants here. I know for a fact that I'll need some spacing, spacing four, and item size is going to be 72% of the height screen. So I'll say, you know, first import height of the screen, dimension, get screen, right? And I'll multiply this height by 0 0.72, okay? And now we can use this item size and specify here, you know, like a flex one and height is going to be item size. Great. So we have now some, uh, I will just color it differently just for you to make, to make this visible, right? And apply here a content container style padding spacing multiplied by three. We are going to create some spacing and also add a gap of spacing multiply it by two okay so we can create some spacing between items so uh yeah uh we we have like a vertical list and you'll see that whenever let's say this particular item is going to be the active one we are going to keep it in the middle and also show uh, a small part of the neighbors as well so this is the desired effect that we would like to accomplish okay so now we have this list and uh what i need to create in order to uh, snap into a particular location is uh, extending the flat list to have a snap to interval which is going to say you know snap uh, by each individual item size and this item size is not the actual full item size and also the spacing so i'll say you know it's actually spacing multiplied by two so in this way it's always going to snap the top here right and now let's move this uh, into a variable item full size is going to be this guy and reuse it okay 
you see it's, it's just really 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 slow to the the jump itself accelerate fast so in this way is whoop, like a snap you know so we have created this vertical list and now we can apply some styling right to this uh, entire container and i'll add here an image image is going to come from react native and i'll add a source fury item dot image and apply some styles flex one and height is going to be item size multiplied by 0 0.4 40 percent of the available space and also create here a view with a uh, text and i will say item title and the same for description give it a little bit of a padding here inside the container padding spacing multiplied by two border radius eight okay i believe the uh, spacing can be a little bit bigger right? and also apply a gap a gap of spacing you know between each individual item so now we have this image and we also need to specify like for example in this example we have uh, more than three rows so I, I can go here to specify a number of lines is three and now he's going to trim it and also apply a style a font size i'll say 24 font weight is going to be 700 so i'm just increasing the size a bit and also apply some gap between those two elements as well and at the bottom create another view and i'll say it's another image but this time the source per item author avatar the width of 24 aspect ratio of one and the border radius of 12. okay so i'm creating this avatar here also add a name and as a sibling i'll add a name item author name go back to the styles of the container i'll say flex direction is row and i'll add a gap of spacing align the items to the center okay the font size for this author is too big so i'll say font size 12. great so now we have like a starting point here uh, instead of this white background what i would like to do is to create uh, another image so i'll just copy this image but this time the style is going to be positioned absolute absolute fill object and i'll also like to give it a border radius this image should be uh, actually the image is going to be this image okay so now we have this type of image and i would like to apply a blur and i'll say blur radius it's 50. Right, so we just blur this background and we can also remove the background uh, from the container itself and now we need to apply a color of white for our text and also ddd for our uh, text inside and for the other text i'll say ddd as well okay so now we have this uh, beautiful uh, carousel and the next thing that i would like to do is uh, to position this active element in the middle uh, and to do so we need to add some vertical spacing so this is going to be horizontal spacing and the uh, padding vertical is going to be height minus the item full size everything divided by two so basically we we take the uh, remaining uh, remaining space and we are going to divide it by two and in this way we are going to position this element in the middle of the screen right so we are going to display something from the neighbor top and neighbor bottom great now let's start animating this uh, element so what we would like to do is uh, only the active item is going to have opacity one otherwise it's going to be opacity 0 0.7 let's say uh, so the first step that we need to do is we need to create a shared value so i'll say scroll y use shared value that's going to start from zero and 
we will use use anime scroll handler to hook to the on scroll event from the flat list and modify the scroll y so i'll say on scroll to use animated scroll handler and we're going to use the shorthand notation just because we're using the on scroll and get the on, uh, scroll y and uh, apply uh, apply the content offset y value to it and the last thing that we need to do is to transform this flat list to be an animated flat list so animated is coming from react native reanimated and flat list and go here and apply the on scroll as a property which is equal to the on scroll now hit save nothing should happen uh, but we are actually changing the scroll y shared value with the content offset y which is great and don't forget that we also need to have scroll event throttle to be 16 and this 16 it's uh, actually coming from 100 divided by how many frames do you like if you like 60 is going is going to be 16 if you'd like 30 frames a second uh, is going to be 32 and so on and so forth so that's why we are specifying here 16 so hit save now and we are going to receive this uh, we are going to receive this event uh, basically 60 times a second great and now we need to pass the index and the scroll y to each individual animated card so we can interpolate that scroll y animation value and apply some magic uh, to it <laughs> we will get the index pass the index as index and uh, the scroll y as scroll y okay and let's modify the props so we are going to receive the index as number and the scroll y which is a shared value as a number okay and get those index and scroll y and create here some styles and i will say styles it's equal to use animated styles okay and return here let's say opacity right so we would like to apply a different opacity if it's active or not so to do so we are going to interpolate the scroll y so interpolate the scroll y with an input range of index minus one index and index plus one basically the neighbors or how it's going to perform when it's going to go either top or bottom the current active uh, the, the current index with uh, an opacity of 0.5 let's say why not 1 and 0.5 so basically only when the scroll y value is going to be equal to index uh, we will have an opacity 1 otherwise it's 0.5 and now let's apply the styles to the view so convert this view to be an animated view and extend the styles to apply the styles as well and now you'll see oh no no nothing is happening here and the reason for that is because we are interpolating the scroll y but we think that we are going to get the index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 which is not the case right the scroll y it's actually uh, bigger than that so we need to go back to the on scroll event and this scroll y we need to divide it by the item full size and so we are going to get index uh, index is between 0 and uh, the total length of the data so hit save refresh the page and now we should uh, see the items right so you'll see like now is the active one let me decrease a bit the the opacity just for you to see uh, see it properly so you see it's just the neighbors are now like at opacity 0 0.3 but the active item it's always visible right it's a pasty one great and now let's use the same the same interpolation let me copy this interpolation and apply a different scale so transform it's going to be scale it's the same interpolation with a scale of 0 0.95 and 0 0.95 as well so now the neighbors are also scaled you see like we can we can also decrease it even more just to make this animation more visible right that was it guys i hope that you've enjoyed it you've learned uh, something new uh, especially around use animated scroll handler and how you can use the shorthand notation if you're just interested in the on scroll event uh, and 
how you can use the interpolate to just calculate something and uh, apply different opacity or in our example and in our example also a scale and uh, how you can position the active item in the middle of the screen uh, using a flat list it was a short tutorial i know it was just a small tip also don't forget to check animatereactnative.com is a platform where I'm sharing more than 125 different animations that are powered by React Native Reanimated, Moti, uh, Gesture Handler, Math and a lot of micro interactions as well and those are solutions to problems that other developers had so yeah if you want to have access to those uh, please check animatereactnative.com otherwise feel free to like, share, subscribe um, Press the ring bell notification to be notified whenever I'm posting something new. Uh, otherwise, see you in the next video.